Today, Xiaomi officially told us about the screen specs and also the battery and charging specs on the Mi 10. These actually aren't the most crazy specs that I've ever heard. There are definitely other phones that go bigger and better, but considering what Xiaomi do, trying to give us an affordable device, I actually think they're really good specs overall. Firstly, we'll learn everything there is to know about the screen that Xiaomi are using in the Mi 10. It is a curved AMOLED screen, of course, and actually a really good spec here is that the peak brightness goes up to 1,120 nits. In comparison, the soon to be released OnePlus 8 Pro, we know from OnePlus officially, that goes up to 1,000 nits peak brightness. The Find X2 is a little bit higher than that as well from Oppo, which uses a very similar screen. But all in all, that is a very good peak brightness, so it should be no problem in broad daylight. 90 hertz refresh rate, that is the figure. No 120 hertz on this. The screen also has a 180 hertz touch sampling rate. A lot of people are interested in this figure. Again, that doesn't go as high as the screen on the OnePlus 8 Pro and the Find X2. They use 240 hertz touch sampling rates. Then you have the Galaxy S20 range, all using 120 hertz this year. But we have to remember on the S20 phones, if you do want to use that high refresh rate, you have to turn the resolution down to full HD. There's also over over 4,000 levels of brightness. That is the slider that you use to turn the brightness up and down. DCI P3 color gamut is also a very good thing. This should be a really good looking screen. Also notice how Xiaomi completely left off any figures regarding the resolution of the screen. Xiaomi very rarely use high resolutions in their phones we can be pretty sure this is a full HD screen. Again, that is somewhere where I can personally compromise. Overall, I'm actually quite pleased with these screen specs. I think they're good all around. They're definitely not the absolute most crazy specs like we're gonna get in the OnePlus 8 Pro, but this phone is gonna come way cheaper than that. And I actually think a really good looking screen with 90 hertz refresh rate, good brightness and good colors overall should be a good deal. There was also this hands-on video that was leaked online of the Xiaomi Mi 10. We can see the phone in all its glory. Xiaomi have actually already given us some official videos and marketing images of the Mi 10. So we know exactly what it looked like, but this is one of the first really leaked videos we've seen of a real Mi 10 device. Overall, I really like the design and the bezels really do look small in the real phone. Also the stereo speaker were also confirmed officially by Xiaomi. We got leaks of a possible dual speaker setup a long time ago. Prototype devices had a big speaker box at the top of the device. We weren't really sure if it was gonna be a second speaker, officially confirmed by Xiaomi. This is a stereo speaker phone at last from Xiaomi in one of their flagships. We also learned the battery capacity of the Xiaomi Mi 10, four and a half thousand milliamp hours, and loads more information about the battery and the charging specs today. So firstly, we've got this picture. It confirms 50 watt fast wired charging, 30 watt wireless charging, and 10 watt reverse charging. That's actually really, really good specs for any phone. What about that 65 watt charging that we saw loads of leaks about? Xiaomi might have changed their mind at the last minute, and there are actually loads of posts from Xiaomi executives today detailing why the Mi 10 at least has these specs. I won't bore you translating all of this stuff, but essentially the technology that Xiaomi are using, if they want to use 65 watt fast charging, they have to use a slightly smaller battery. Also with that charging, the battery degrades quicker. So overall they decided 50 watt fast charging with a slightly bigger battery would be better for users overall. They also went on to say that anyway, their 50 watt can charge the battery quicker than other brands 65 watt. That's something we can't even compare right now, but definitely is something I'm gonna compare. So subscribe if you wanna see those battery tests. Xiaomi said the Mi 10 from naught to 100% will take 45 minutes to charge. I really don't think that's gonna be as quick as Oppo's. Oppo's really are leading the way with this right now. Let's see what Oppo do with the Find X2. I think they're gonna put their top fast charging in that phone. Xiaomi are definitely saving a lot for the launch tomorrow. We have virtually no information officially from Xiaomi on the pro version or the second version of the phone. We know there's definitely more than one version. We also don't know if they're using 65 watt at all. That was leaked really really heavily and right now it looks like the only leak that wasn't exactly correct was to do with the fast charging but let's wait and see for the launch tomorrow if Xiaomi have any surprises. Subscribe for the latest tech news and videos that's it for now but I'll see you in the next one.